Hi, this is Dr. Grande. I hope you find this video useful. If that's the case, please like it and subscribe to my channel. And as always, thanks for watching. So, can you think of another case you're working on, another family, different than the one that we've initially talked about, where you've made a decision that seemed like it was fairly clear-cut, like one you would have made before, and yet you're, you're thinking about it and replaying it? Yeah, I had this case, you know, recently where it's a single dad, the mom passed away, and I go in and check on him and his son, and, you know, things are going well, but, you know, I think the dad has a hard time, so it's not like it was before when the mom was there. Um, not that I wasn't there before that, but you can just tell that, like, things are a little different. But, um, you know, obviously I, my decision is that things are going well for the kid. You know, they're gonna, he's going to stay there and dad is stable. But I just worry, like, is the dad under too much stress? Is he really taking care of the kid as good as, you know, what if he's just cleaning up the house and doing the right things while I'm there and while I'm not there? You know, does he have the energy to take care of his kid? Or is everything really the way I it appears? Or is there more going on? I just don't know. All right, so you're handling it to the best of your ability, but there's still these these thoughts that are coming up, mm -hmm. kind of encouraging you to second guess your judgment. Yeah, and it's like I can't let it go, like. I saw him like two weeks ago, and I still wonder, and I have other cases like that. It's like they're all running through my head, and I have these thoughts like, did I do the right thing? Can I do the right thing? And maybe what if, what if the worst happens? Mm -hmm. And I didn't see it. Like, what if something terrible happens, and I should have known better? So it speaks back to your competency as a professional mm -hmm. again, so... That's, that seems to be kind of core at this. Yeah, right? yeah. A lot of things you, or, or several things you talk about seem to connect back to, are you capable to be in this field? Mm -hmm. And should you be trusted? Yeah, right. definitely. So, on the, kind of moving back to thinking, there are, errors in thinking that all people make. Mm -hmm. right? And when these errors become repetitive, and you can kind of see them applied in more than one area of somebody's life, we refer to that as a cognitive distortion. Okay. It's not bad or good. It's just how people think. Mm -hmm. It's just patterns that people fall into. And there are several different cognitive distortions. There are several patterns that we kind of see come up often in this work, right, as a counselor. I'm wondering, in this situation where you're thinking the worst possible outcome is unbearable or likely or, or both, mm -hmm. if you may be really focusing and emphasizing on that mm -hmm. to the exclusion of other evidence that suggests you've made a good decision. Mm -hmm. right, so you're really focused on the negative outcome, the worst possible and maybe even unlikely outcome, mm -hmm. and maybe not weighing all the evidence um, with the same weight, like you're, you're putting more weight on the negative. Okay. Does that kind of make sense? Yeah, I mean, I think that that's probably true because before I felt fine and now I just feel like everything's falling apart and not that much has changed and so it kind of makes me think that that's probably what's going on, but I don't know how to change that. This is frustrating for you. Yeah. yeah. The self-doubt and this worry. Mm -hmm. 